Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Headliners Koulibaly card to review today. So as you guys know, I reviewed his Player of the Month card, but this was like ages ago. It was on October 7th, 2021. Uh, so it was like the first two weeks of FIFA. So obviously we got a very, very good feel of the game nowadays. Uh, now, back then, you know, when it came to the SPC, I did think he was on more of the expensive side compared to the rare gold card. Although the player of the month card still performed really, really well in game and I thoroughly enjoyed using him. But the thing is, though, is that, you know, tactics have changed. Gameplay has changed. The way that people have adapted to this game has changed. So the way that I'm going uh, to view this card is probably going to be a little bit different than that player of the month card. But maybe he performs the same way. We'll see. So. With Koulibaly, guys, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot two, medium high, a work rates, right footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. Uh, with this card in game, guys, we are going to be giving him a shadow chemistry style. So the shadow chemistry style is going to improve the card in the acceleration sprint speed department while boosting his defense to be really, really good while working with good physical. Now, the comparison between this card right now to his player of the month card is in plus ones and plus twos for certain areas of the card. Now, in the past, as you guys know, like, I don't know, let me give you guys an example, like the Neymar card, right? Neymar's rare gold to the Inform card was genuinely, like, significant. Like, the Inform was significantly better to the rare gold card. It was really, really crazy because, honestly, most of the stats was in the plus one department. So it was so crazy how much better that card was, right? Uh, with Koulibaly, we're obviously going to be taking a look and seeing what he's going to be like in-game because, guys... As the game has progressed, more and more you notice that hunchback body type players for center backs are crazy, okay? So with the Litz card, for instance, if he gets like another upgrade in the future, he's going to be nuts because of the extra pace boost that they give in the card because that hunchback body type, the, the, the Litz cards, the Klosterman cards, like those guys are nuts, okay? So with Koulibaly, he has that body type. You're going to actually see here that it says unique body type and i remember that like hunchback body type which is going to be crazy because it might be different now right uh in-game player traits he has the power header traits in-game attributes we are going to be working with 87 acceleration 99 sprint speed to be honest with you guys for the meta of this game perfectly fine right if if he performs a certain way okay because that body type is going to be the biggest thing that we have to see in game because i'm telling you it's massive nowadays ever like compared to what it was I'm not going to say compared to what it was, but in the first two, three weeks, it's still important, obviously. But to what it is now, it's crazy, okay? So we'll see. Uh, base card stats for shooting, he has none. Base card stats for passing uh, is okay for a center back. You know, I don't, I don't expect a card like this to be crazy when it comes to dribbling on the ball or passing or anything like that. I just want him to be a defensive wall. I want him to be that brick wall that's hard to pass, right? Dribbling in game, here's the thing. Agility, balance, and, and ball control is low, but reactions is at an 88 with 87 composure. Those two things together, incredible, okay? Defensive stats in game with a card like this on the Shadow Chemistry style is going to have high 90s for defense, okay? Now that he has high 90s for defense at an 87 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, unique body type, that's working with the physical stats of the card at 98 for strength, 87 for aggression, 73 for stamina, is incredible okay it is the only thing i need to see is how that pace works with his body type that's going to be the biggest thing because guys if he was like a high and average plus or high and average like i know that they're gonna feel slower right because the, the pace usually is not crazy but it's the pace with the body type because dude listen man even on this card right here even if it's a plus one you have to understand that you're also boosting a little bit of the dribbling you're boosting the defense and the physical a little bit as well the extra aggression and strength it makes that little bit of a difference sometimes, okay? That's what we're going to see in-game. Uh, but yeah, on the Shadow, he looks like a really, really good card. If he performs to what the meta of the game is nowadays, this card is going to be nuts, right? So uh, the way that we are going to be playing Koulibaly in-game, because we are going to be trying him out in um, a 4-4-2 and the 4 one 2 2 is just playing him in the center back position, defending normally with him, 4-4-2, 4-1-2-1-2, 2 and just seeing how he plays. Hopefully, he is a beast. Oh, he has pace now. Oh, no. Oh, no. He has pace now, my dude. Oh, my goodness. Side tackle. Huh. 
That was like so poor by me just for me to like really stress test the card. <laughs> and he still bulldozes his way through. Oh my. <laughs> Puts enough pressure on him for me to get that ball. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. Well, magnetizes the ball there too for that pass. Dude, he just had like this. This is gonna be like, I think he's gonna be one of the best center backs in the game. Like, I'm not even joking. Like he just needed the pace from that player of the month card. These guys that have like that hunchback body type, crazy. Oh, unlucky. Trackback is pretty good, though. I don't have to worry about that with him. Oh, look at that first time pass by Cooley. Nice. I'm going to switch off him here so he goes back into his original position. I'm going to L trigger this. I'm going to tackle that. Thank you, Cooley. Okay, bro. Cooley Bali is going to do what Zaidu can't. Oh, that reach. That was so nice. Guys, his pace, because trust me, I tried out that player of the month card. His pace feels like it's like steroided out like crazy. Like, I'm not even joking. He runs so fast. Oh my, just from holding out trigger, eh? Sticks out that foot like a bad boy. Well, we did pass too. <laughs> Missed time to challenge me, still gets it. No, dude, holy. Slide tackle, get off him and a mark back quickly as well. Perfect. Beautiful. This card is really good, guys. Like, he's really, really good. That pace boost is a massive difference. Like, you know what it is, bro? Is that, like, it's not just like, oh, they gave him a pace boost. It's he feels explosive with that pace boost. Like, that's the thing, man. Oh, he even has a sick animation there, too. Look at how fast he tracks back there. It doesn't, I don't control him, which is why it doesn't register to him, but that's crazy. Dude, this card is nuts, man. Guys, he's one of the best players at running while using the jockey system. His run jockey is sick. Nah, give me that, bro. Even if I miss the ball, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that one I'm just going to hold. I just hold that. There we go. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Cooley Bali card. Guys, uh, the meta of the game, I'm telling you, like in the first two weeks compared to what it is now, these cards are crazy, dude. They're so, so crazy defensively. Like you really notice that body type with his pace it is so insane like i said if he had a high and average a high and average plus body type then you'd probably notice him being a little bit more clunky right but this card is genuinely so explosive i don't even remember his player of the month being that explosive and again mechanics change as the game progresses obviously right but this card feels so explosive on the sprint that I don't care about his dribbling on the ball. The dribbling on this card, I don't care about it when it comes to transition speed. It doesn't matter. That unique body type that he has is insane for this card, okay? It is honest to God so good, okay? On the shadow chemistry style, 87 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, perfectly fine for his body type, okay? 
His defense being essentially perfect is awesome. He makes great challenges. He bullies people off the ball a lot of occasions. Some of the de defensive tackles and slide tackles animations that he chooses to do are ridiculous as well. Like really, really good. The 88 reactions, the 87 composure, that little combination between the two guys is so important, especially since his agility balance and, and ball control is so awful, right? You notice that from an animation perspective when it comes to doing stuff on the ball and for some defensive animations for blocks and stuff, right? But it doesn't matter because he still defends really, really well. This Cooley Bolly card is genuinely really good. I thoroughly enjoyed using him. I honestly... I was using him, and I'm like, bro, his sprints, his pace feels like it's more. And it feels like it's more because his unique body type works so well for him. It's ridiculous, honestly. It's really, really good. You don't know you don't notice this as much in the beginning of the game, but now, oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see what links this guy has to work with. By the way, one of the first things is like you can link a card like this to Mertens if you actually ended up doing this card, right? Uh Politano, not so much because center back to right mid. Uh Fabian, if they actually give him a good card, because that card's awful. Ozzy Main, if you want to use that for fun, you could totally do that as well. Mertens will be the biggest link, though, right? If you don't use Mertens, it's going to be a little bit harder to link a card like this with some pretty solid players next to him. Unless there's, like, some defenders and stuff. Unless this guy actually gets some sort of card in the future, you know? Yeah, because there's Ozzy Main. What about perfect links? I mean, there's no perfect links. Yeah, with, with Koulibaly, the problem with him is Lynx, because you have to go with Syria, right? You have to go with Syria for the soft Lynx, or you go with a player, you know, like what I'm doing over here with Insigne, you know, seven chemistry, playing that center mid area, giving him that chemistry like that. You could totally do that as well, right? But then I could also move him over here, right, and get another Syria center mid and someone to get Lynx with my other center back. And then go from there as well, right? So there's there's a couple things you can do, but it is a little bit more complicated to, to get the links with him. But is he a solid card, guys? Yes, he's genuinely a very, very good card. I really enjoyed using him as a center back. Very, very good. And you know what? Considering the fact that this headliners card can still upgrade in the future in regards to pace, in regards to extra dribbling, like the extra pace, like I'm telling you, if he gets that extra pace, it's disgusting. Because look, on a shadow chemistry saw, if you give him that extra acceleration while giving him the extra physical, his defense, not so much, right? This card is a headliners. You care about it more for the extra acceleration and dribbling than you do for the physical and for the defending because the defending is already in a very good spot. But the extra physical for aggression and strength, uh, or not even necessarily strength, but more in the aggression, acceleration, and a little bit of dribbling, that's where it's going to be an insane difference, okay? Because this card is really good. Really, really good center back card. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.